Jordan Taylor this year's theme is A Few of Our Favorite Things, which is a nice little play on um, that song from The Sound of Music. So a few of our favorite things we begin. They have four beautiful windows along their flagship store. Um, our first one is the Sweets Shop. So they are originally a British brand, so I like the addition of spelling shop, S-H-O-P-P-E, like mm -hmm. the old school British way. Um, and anything from so anything and everything you can, exactly. It's literally a feast for the eyes. What's so beautiful about it is um, part of the, my favorite part of the holiday season is all the eating, right? We just had Thanksgiving yeah. and all the parties that you go to, all the decadent food and the meals and, you know, gathering around with friends. And so this is definitely uh, keeping in tow with and that. And I take it these are all real edibles. Is that right? Or are these... That is not correct. Okay. Well, I know you would think they would be. They look, they look so phenomenal. They, uh, Yeah, I think the, uh, the, you know, the artists who put all of these together did a beautiful job of totally recreating the look of actual buttercream and fondant. None of this is actually edible, but you've got anywhere from um, cupcakes to three-tiered cakes, uh, macaroons cookies, peppermints, anything and everything you could need uh, in a sort of holiday festive party setting. So our second window, this is definitely the window on the tour that gives the most smiles. It's called the Gingerbread Kingdom. The Gingerbread Kingdom is uh, over 75 little foam gingerbread set on these five different wooden casters that move back and forth. And they are holding up their own variation of a Victorian gingerbread mansion. So it's definitely that taking the concept cute. of, yeah, you know, have you ever built a gingerbread house before? Long time ago, but I have. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of a fun holiday tradition, and uh, this has definitely taken it to a, a much, much larger scale. None of it is made out of actual gingerbread, uh, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's very ornate, and I love the idea of taking a sort of Victorian mansion. The icing is made out of, like, a plaster and um, glitter sort of composite, so it actually looks like icing. Trying to figure out if any of these ginger men look like anybody I might know, but we'll save that for another conversation. <laughs> uh, and then we have our cuckoo clock, which I think is, uh, of all four windows, easily like the most elegant. There's something so uh, beautiful about it. And Lord and Taylor actually does a really, really innovative job of using a lot of LED screens in the back of their displays because they don't have a terribly uh, deep space to work with. Their elevators are, or their windows are actually giant elevator. Uh, shafts, so uh, they have specific height and weight restrictions, right? So they depend a lot on LED screens to sort of do the storytelling for them. So I think in the case of the cuckoo clock, while it's just one giant piece entirely whittled out of wood, uh, wow. utilizing glitter and white paint, um, in this case, it's sort of a woodland kind of theme. So instead of our yes. cuckoo clock, every time it strikes midnight, an owl pops out, and we have these beautiful sort of bunnies that spin around. Um, pheasants, and we have actual little um, chipmunks that pull the pendulums up and down, so it's a functioning cuckoo clock. And is, are you saying the LED is the blue behind it? Correct, or? yeah. So what you're seeing in the background with all those cuckoo clocks set up is actually a beautiful screen uh, that has about 10 different uh, scenarios, 10 different settings. There's cuckoo clocks, and there are fireworks, and there are sort of these beautiful little... Uh, not sprinkles, what are these called? Um, confetti that sort of falls out of the air. Making it look like snowfall. Exactly. Creating, creating the stage. Now, obviously LED have been, have been around for some time and the move towards digital, I'm surprised it hasn't um, accelerated or taken on as quickly or uh, pervasively throughout the Manhattan retail scene. But increasingly we're seeing the incorporation of LED and digital screens uh, in windows throughout the year. And some of our clients are some of the most important and um, compelling uh, digital clients in the world. And then we end with Lord and Taylor with our uh, holiday countdown is the name of uh, this window. And it is a uh, colonial style mansion, which I think is a little bit of a throwback to their original heritage. They are a British brand. Um, and it's an advent calendar. It's hmm. so fun. Uh, all Every single window has a different uh, day of December, right, leading all the way up to the bottom right, which is uh, the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. And all of the windows actually pop open at different times. They're timed about every uh, two or three seconds. They'll go odd numbers, even numbers, and then all of them will open up. And instead of showing, um, you know, things you could buy, they're showcasing uh, fun winter activities, right? So making snow angels, going sledding, uh, horse-drawn carriages, red cardinals, squirrels, 
ice skating, all That's kinds fun. of fun winter activities. Yeah, it's very, very charming. And I'm not sure if we're going to have one more Lord & Taylor. Do you know if we have one more? Or? No, this is it. For them. The other neat thing that Lord & Taylor has done is they essentially have a walkway, right, which is kind of covered in uh, – it's kind of like a – not a wonderland in terms of – well, they do have some really nice lighting, but it's almost set up as like a tunnel effect. Uh, as you walk along this uh, sidewalk. Yeah, Lord that Taylor. actually happened by accident. Uh, okay. The building, which is undergoing renovation to be restored, uh, the original flagship, uh, was undergoing some construction that was supposed to be done, I'm told, uh, back in October. And as you know how construction goes, stuff never sort sure. of goes according to plan. So they incorporated all the scaffolding that they have across the original flagship into this, I call it the Christmas cave. So they built a beautiful garland that wraps around the entire scaffolding and put hundreds and I would say thousands of lights that just sort of twinkle so it gives the effect when you walk in and look through the window like you're actually in this enchanted sort of forest it's you, really you, effective Jolene you did a much better job at articulating <laughs> what was happening there but I knew it was obviously something quite beautiful and I think you uh, we don't have a picture of that here but you can you can sort of see the twinkling our... lights on the actual photo itself all those yes. lights that you see atop that's from the actual scaffolding the reflection of the window